Hello from NPR channel. In this tutorial, I will uh, show you how to uh, mosaic two or more uh, raster images uh, by using uh, QGIS. Um, more specifically, I will use uh, 2.12.0 version. But uh, okay, I am sure that the uh, recent version sh should work. Uh, in the same way so let's start with this tutorial first of all we have to get some data to mosaic and in particular I am working with a digital elevation model of the Netherlands as you can see this digital elevation model is obtainable through this link that you can a copy from uh, the comments uh, area and uh, then this uh, digital elevation model as uh, you can see is composed by many tiles you can click on each tile and uh, you can download it so let's start with this simple task let's focus on the Amsterdam uh, city and I will uh, select the first patch this one okay then I will download for example the 5 meter raster digital surface model so I click on the download link I will should get the data in my downloads folder and then I proceed with the second tile this one Again, I click on the download link and I will get the second tile. Then the third one, this download. And then the fourth one, this one. Oops, it's a little bit, a little bit slow. And again, now I have downloaded the four tiles. Let's check at these four downloads. They are 25EZZ2, 25FZ1, 25GN2, and 25HN1. Okay, now that we have the four uh, zipped uh, tiles, we have to unzip them. By the way, um, I see that the extensions of these uh, files are not shown, so I change the settings of uh, w this folder. It is a simple task with the Windows 10 because I go to View and uh, Enable File Name Extensions. Okay, now I extract all these files and I get as you can see four different uh, uh, geotiff uh, mm, raster files in order to see them I can just uh, move them into uh, QGIS window in fact as soon as I move one of these two files these four files into QGIS I can see uh, it in particular as you can see it is a digital surface model I can press on this button to to read the values of this uh, digital surface model minus uh, 5.3 meters minus 2 meters here I have no data and uh, again here no data here minus 1.5 meter and so on okay now we are ready to import into QGIS all the tiles we have downloaded they are four uh, tiles and uh, as you can see here they are one two three four are also evident in some cases uh, mm, the stitching uh, line between uh, uh, the tiles this is not because they are not uh, uh, 
correctly equalized, let me say in this way, but uh, this is because uh, QGIS is using uh, different uh, uh, scales to represent these uh, tiles. Another thing uh, important is that these tiles are in this uh, EPSG um, reference system. In the next lesson we will see how to convert it, this uh, um, ties into another reference system. For the moment, uh, let's focus on the need to mosaic these four ties. It is a simple task because uh, you have just to go in the raster menu, okay, and then you have to find the merge operation, which is uh, available in the miscellaneous menu here merge and uh, then we have uh, several options the first one is related to the input files to be merged you can specify uh, files or you can just specify a directory containing these files let's uh, try with uh, this option in this case, uh, I will have just to specify the um, directory containing uh, my four files. Before proceeding, I want to make sure that I have my files into, into a single directory. So in the SM, I will call it in this way, and I will copy all the four patches into this directory. I copy also the path of this directory so that I will be able to paste it into the input directory field. Let's check if they are available okay as you can see the directory in DSM is visible by QGIS and then I will select an output directory maybe it can be um, the same directory of the input the name of the output file could be merged tiles okay dot diff and then I could uh, proceed with uh, these other optional um, parameters but for the moment uh, I don't want to use them for example I could specify a no data value at this point I can click on the OK button and after a few seconds I get the uh, message of proceeding completing completed and then now we can check if in our folder we have our merged tiles dot tiff file let's uh, see it so I disable the four layer concerning the four ties and I move the new merged ties layer into QGIS. As you can see now we have our um, digital elevation model in a single file. Of course we can change the scale, the color scale by clicking on properties and specify for example a range of visualization range between minus 10 and plus 10 and okay this is our merged digital surface model that's all i remember that uh, these uh, videos uh, are uh, free and uh, of course I am happy if uh, you can put a like on this video if you like it and uh, I'm also happy if you subscribe to this channel. Thank you and goodbye.